Welcome back everybody to Definitely Not Mechanics. I hope you all had a good Christmas and I hope you got some cool car shit for whatever you're working on over there. Now, I didn't get car stuff. I got a lot of camera stuff. Very excited about that. That's not what this video is about. This video is not really about anything. I'm going to start trying to vlog some stuff. That way, one of the days, because we're consecutively posting two days every week, Tuesdays and Thursdays, Check those out. Make sure you get the notification bells and all that and follow us. S subscribe. That's the one. So I'm going to try to make one of those uploads a vlog that kind of covers the previous week or it might be backlogged, so the week before last. But do that and then do other like in-depth videos or just more focused videos on Thursday. And maybe that could work me into a routine to get to those three-day drops and do like Monday, Wednesday, Friday. We're not to that yet. So as you can see behind me, I've got some packing stuff. I've got orders brought up and I've got the rest of our inventory that we just sold in the uh, the pre-Christmas $1 shirt sale. It went crazy, sold out of everything that I had in stock. So we're working on restocking and there is some stuff still on the website that comes straight from our warehouse that you can get. But we're working on restocking what we have uh, here so we can do more sales and stuff. And I am actually just gonna be packaging these orders up and getting them ready to ship out. So come along for the ride. Okay, so we've got all the orders boxed up, they're packaged, they're ready to go. Everything went swimmingly. I'm gonna go drop these off tomorrow. You guys are gonna come along for that. Okay, so it's the next day. Um, I've got everything loaded in the van, but I wanna take a moment to show you guys this new thing that I got for Christmas. Check it out. Mavic Mini SC, I already ran it into Chris's truck right here and broke off a little bit of this. I thought I messed up the gimbal too, but luckily it's all still moving correctly. I've learned my lesson about flying at night though. And it's especially hard to fly here because uh, there's a lot of like aircrafts and stuff that go over so we get a lot of signal interference. a dangerous game I'm playing here. <laughs> let's, uh, let's put the $500 drone right in the face of the $1,000 camera. This thing's pretty cool though. Um, the speed is remarkable for the affordability of it. And fuck me. And the durability as well. I've run this thing into two poles, a tree, a swing set, and then the thing that really took it off, I hit the uh, the fence over here, and then it bounced off and hit this headache rack right here, and that's uh, kind of what cracked it and stuff. I just broke this.
Okay, so I damaged it. I don't think I broke it. The uh, that one motor is acting a little wonky, but maybe I won't fly in sport mode until I learn how to do this. Let's go deliver some orders. Okay, so I'm sure a lot of you guys are asking, why are you delivering stuff personally? Well, honestly, this the first order that I'm delivering to is two miles from my house. The post office is three miles from my house. Some of the orders are from my close friends. I've got to go out towards that way anyways, so I can just drop all those off at once, and those guys can get their shirts now rather than having to wait, you know, one to five days on USPS. So I'm only shipping the ones I have to. Any of the ones that are local, I'm just going to drop off personally. First order successfully delivered. Okay, so I got past the fact that this was a gated community and I got in here, but here's where the next challenge is. All of the unit numbers are covered because they're painting. How do I figure this out, you know? Oh, shit, hey, wait. stupid, take your order. <laughs> All right, so I'm actually making a delivery to a few of my friends that uh, that run this restaurant here. This is Bucky's Cafe. This is honestly the best home cooking east of Dallas for sure. It's in Cattle Mill, so if you're ever in the area, come check it out. They do breakfast all day, and it's run by some really good friends of mine. Okay, so we've got all of the orders that we were gonna deliver <laughs> delivered. Are you okay? Yeah. You Gucci? All right, so we got all that stuff dropped off. Uh, the only thing left to do, I've got to stop and get some shipping labels because it's gonna end up costing more if I don't print the shipping labels at home. So I gotta pick up some shipping labels for the other shirts that have to be mailed. And I've also gotta run over to my mom's house. And my mom has a collection of Barbies that she inherited somehow and I've got to price and value those for her and find some buyers for this stuff so we can put some money in our pockets. So we're headed out that way right now. Anything you want to add to that, Mace? No. Sure. Okay. I want to go to Gigi's. We are going to Gigi's Yay. house. As soon as this dump truck gets out of our way. So that's what like 95 Barbies look like stacked in the van. They're everywhere. They're creepy as shit. All right, so we got all the Barbies loaded up. Um, I'm gonna try to find somebody that wants to buy like 100 Barbies. So if you know anybody, drop a comment below. Update on the Barbie situation. It's midnight, uh, Tuesday, and I just got through going through all of these Barbies. To... Here they all are. That's, uh, I didn't count how many there were specifically, but I kind of estimated the value and shot a little low in areas based off of what's sold on eBay in the past year. And we're looking at roughly $2,500 to $3,500 worth of Barbies. I'm now pretty well versed in Barbies ranging from 94 to 2004. So if you have any questions, leave a comment below. Please don't, I don't care. I want these to be gone out of my garage by tomorrow. I don't want to deal with storing and moving and lugging and having to care for them. Like I already found myself a couple times like trying to fix boxes and I was like, oh man, I do not give a shit. So we're going to close this day down and tomorrow you'll see this with sunlight. Update. Um, I was supposed to work on that today, but it rained all night, rained all morning and the ground literally just dried up. You can still see it's kind of wet behind the truck there. I, I don't work on stuff in the rain. If I don't have to, I'm not going to. But I did spend my day productively. I spent about three hours on the phone calling different toy collectors and antique stores and all kinds of places like that around here. And one lady even had the, the gumption, you know, the, the audacity. I guess it was on sale because she had a bunch of it. Excuse me, it's me. My camera's telling me that I'm out here. A little late for that. Whatever. Anyways, so she had the audacity to offer me $325 for all these. 
There's 91 Barbies. I'm done. No, I'm not going to take $325. Like, I roughly estimated everything to be close to 3000 So after wasting a bunch of my time, I ended up joining a couple of Barbie collectors Facebook groups. Those are weird places. Do not go if you can avoid it. But anyways, so I did happen to find somebody in New Jersey that wanted to take all of them for a little bit better of a price. And, uh... Basically, you're looking at a guy that just got $1,300 for 90 Barbies. That's me. We're gonna go to Home Depot and get some boxes. The internet said I could ship in Home Depot boxes, so I'm going to. All right, so we've got the boxes, we've got the buyer, we've got the dolls, everything's in order. The only uh, thing I have to do is just package these up, and I got some Home Depot boxes. The internet said that they're usable for shipping. They were just worried about, uh, how rigid they are as far as like stackability they said something about like 65 pounds but I'm gonna have 10 of these so I imagine they're all gonna be stacked on top of each other and these only weigh like 10 pounds per box based on the calculations I did with my postage scale so I'm gonna go ahead and put some of these boxes together and uh, start loading these in into the boxes I guess and put the boxes in the boxes One. Okay, so it took us seven boxes to get all those Barbies uh, stowed away for their trip to wonderful New Jersey. I've got a scale here. This is like the $10 one that you get from Walmart, the dial scale. I tried last night to use uh, like a balance beam that I made and then uh, I've got a, a small postage scale that'll go up to two and a half pounds. And I tried to weigh a bunch of random stuff and see if I could stack that stuff against the boxes. And I got rough estimates on that. Uh, let's see how close we got. This one I've got labeled at 13 pounds. Yeah, that's 13 pounds. I mean, it's, it's... Cool. So I successfully weighed all of them over. And, uh... Probably good to make some labels now and then get ready to ship these things out today. Okay, so... Got all the packages shipped. Next project on the agenda is this. So I don't think I've given you any background on this unless you've seen the TikTok. We've had some issues, I would say, with this truck. So as you can see down here, we've got the Camberg transmission cross member and an energy polyurethane mount. The problem is the transmission Obviously, we've got space here. We haven't bolted the back part in yet because we're, we're still running into space issues with this transmission. Ow. That's rubbing, obviously, on the cab. Now, you can see from the sheet metal screws and the rust, the center part of the cab has been replaced before. For what reason? I don't know. But you can also see right there, we're having clearance issues. It's touching the floor of the truck. So we've taken out his little console thing, and then uh, this, which was obviously affixed in here in a very grand way, that wasn't even mounted. Um, once we got all of the screws out of this, we found that it was a fucking street sign, maybe? Well, I stick my hand in here. Is that? 
That's not the transmission. No, it sure isn't. Yeah, I, that should have been a dead giveaway right off the start. Uh, what the fuck is that? What's going on here? This tunnel is not out of this truck. I don't know if it's made for this truck, but I know it didn't come out of this one. See, whatever kind of sealant they use there, not a good job. That explains some things. That's not plugged in where it should be. Hardware. Well, there's a secondary tunnel there. How about it? And then there's the factory one. Wow. That's crazy. Why would they do it like this? So the best we can figure out with the Ranger is that it was built in the use of drug smuggling. The vehicle's from Houston. There's some less than savory history with it. Uh, just from what we can see on the surface here, pretty positive it's a 100% drug smuggling vehicle. As far as how we're going to fix it, you're going to find that out in the next video that's going to drop on Thursday. Be sure to look out for that. And thanks for watching this video. Uh, if you want to see more vlog content like this, you don't even have to comment below. I'm already going to do it, man. That's just how we're doing it now. So thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. Uh, leave a comment below at what the funniest part of the video was or what you liked most about this video. Don't forget to like it and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you guys can be updated. Leave a comment down below if you guys want to see the guys from TXMD in bikinis. I have that saved on my old computer and I can get that forwarded out to everyone when they need it. Appreciate the love and support through the $1 sale, guys. We really, really appreciated all of the orders that came through. I'll catch you guys on the next video.